After my tutorial on Runway Act 2, I figured it was time to take a closer look at Runway Aleph. It's an in-context video model that claims to visually change existing footage. Close-up becomes wide shot, sunshine turns to rain, spring becomes winter, day flips to night, or the other way around. But does it actually work? Or are these just big promises most users never see? Unless they work with runway every day. The feature, available for users on a standard plan or higher, promises a lot. And honestly, it can feel a bit overwhelming at first, with lines like create seamless continuations, transform the mood of any scene, easily retexture, or entirely replace, or even with anything you can imagine. It's easy to push the platform past its limits. One thing became clear to me early on. If you start with something photorealistic, a landscape, a person, a car, this kind of style switch works pretty well even with your own custom prompts. But if you're working with an illustration, a drawing, or anything less defined, things get tricky. That's where the chat mode comes in. More on that later. Before I show you how to create your own clips, let me walk you through a few of my test cases. Bottom left, you'll always see the source video, created in mid-journey. Top left and top right show two different outputs, based on two different prompts. Example 1. Japan, 14th century. A temple, a samurai, a mystical place. The original prompt, first person view walking through the gate. In a left, the top left prompt was, change the camera angle to a high top down drone perspective. Top right, change the weather to a strong sandstorm. Very cinematic. That's the kind of result that makes you want to keep testing scene transitions. Example 2. Alaska. Snow. Speed. The base prompt. The camera follows a snowboarder. Dynamic motion. A left brought the perspective shift. Top left shows. Change the camera angle to a selfie taken by the snowboarder while moving. Top right. Change the snow to ash and lava and the mountains to volcanoes. There's some morphing here. Not everything holds up. Example 3 a scene from the American Civil War. The base prompt was, the camera gently zooms in. The war ran from 1861 to 1865, so a weather change like the one top left was probably realistic, and if drones had existed back then, the top right result might have been the shot. Overall, very well done. Example 4, Korea, near the DMZ. The prompt, the main gate of a South Korean military base. The camera follows the person's moving. With a left, I wanted to test two specific functions I'd been curious about. Top left, generate a next shot. Top right, green screen the persons. The green screen works. The next shot, not so much. Example 5, a young woman in 1985 Paris. This one was animated with auto low motion in mid-journey. Top left, I tried replacing her black sweater with a blue one. I used a reference image, just a flat blue, and the prompt, change the sweater. Top right, it suddenly starts raining. The prompt was simply, add rain. The woman's hair looks genuinely wet. But oddly, no one else in the background seems to notice the storm. No umbrellas anywhere. Example 6. A fighter, frozen in a Krav Maga stance. This video too was created with auto low motion. The goal was to explore different angles of the same figure. First try left side, generate a medium shot of the scene. Second try right side, change the camera angle to the back of a boxing club, silhouetted people sitting in the foreground. The medium shot is great. The second one could work, could miss. I've got plenty more examples, but I think these give you a good sense of what's possible and where things get shaky. If you want to use Runway LF, there are a few things you should know. First, always start your prompt with an action verb. Add, remove, change, relight, restyle, transform. These give LF a clear direction. Second, describe what you want to change in simple, concrete terms. Change the video so it looks like it's underwater works much better than something vague. Third, 
If there's something that should stay the same, say so. Keep the lighting the same. Background stays unchanged. That kind of phrasing helps avoid unwanted edits. Fourth, you can upload a reference image if needed. For example, match the colours of the car to the image. Then there's the question, chat mode or standard editor? The chat mode can be a powerful way to ask Runway directly how a prompt should be written. And finally, video length. Right now, Aleph only works with clips up to five seconds long. If your input video is longer, Runway will trim it down automatically. So that was the basics. Let's take a look at how it actually works, starting with chat mode. First, open Runway. Technically, you could begin right there, in the chat GPT style interface, that says describe your idea. But we'll switch to the full console view to see what's going on. Click get started in the top right. Same layout as before, just with a black background. To switch between the standard editor and chat mode, use the double arrow icon in the top left. To return to chat mode, click the corresponding button at the top. Now, what's the point of using chat mode? I gave it a try. My first request was, Write me a short runway Aleph prompt to turn a sunny weather scene into a snowstorm. I added runway Aleph prompt on purpose. Just to make sure the AI follows its own rules. And right away the prompt appeared in the chat. I could have used that to start the video transformation. But as I mentioned earlier, runway has a harder time when it comes to illustrations. So I tried something else. I asked for a prompt that could turn a watercolour illustration into a photorealistic video. Here's what came back. To double check if the result would actually work for my case, I followed up. This is the image. Do I need to change the prompt? Runway analyzed the image and suggested a revision for five credits. If the result looks okay, I upload my source video, copy in the suggested prompt and hit generate. Now a note on timing. The process feels a bit slower in chat mode than in the regular editor. And I noticed something else. The results often differ. Same video, same prompt. But the chat mode and the editor don't always produce the same output. It's like someone said, AI is a giant slot machine. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. I chose a tough test on purpose, so you can see where things still break. In the four grid layout you're seeing now, bottom left is the mid journey source, top left, modified using Runway's prompt via chat mode, top right, same prompt, same video, generated in the runway editor. Bottom right, same input, but with a prompt written by ChatGPT. In short, this one didn't really work. I'd say that's mostly because of the illustrated source. In another test, I also noticed runway ignored my explicit prompt to keep the color style consistent. So test it for yourself, especially when working with more complex inputs. And keep in mind, every single generate this costs credits. Now let's move on to the standard editor mode. Start from the home page. Click generate video. That'll take you to the main video editor. Top left, make sure video is selected. At the bottom, it might say prompt and act to. At first, don't worry, you're in the right place. Upload the video of your choice, either something you recorded yourself or something created by another AI tool. Once the upload is verified, the label prompt will change to Aleph. In the prompt field above, enter your text. Optionally, you can upload an image reference as well. Let's try a more detailed example. Here's the prompt I used. Change the person to a samurai from the Edo period in Japan. Add a traditional katana. Place the character in front of a historic temple. Keep the lighting natural and cinematic. I tested two approaches. Top left, you'll see the result using text only. Top right, same prompt, but with an additional reference image. In both versions, Runway had trouble with the katana. The shape it generated looked more like a fly swatter. And in the version with the reference image, the character came out oddly smooth, almost plastic. Each of these videos costs 75 credits. If you're planning to do something similar, like starting with a self-shot video on a white background, I'd say Act 2 is still the better option. That's what I used for my driving performance test, where I uploaded my own clip and combined it with a mid-journey generated character input. 
each run costs 30 credits. Not perfect either, but definitely worth a look. Let's try something a little simpler. Back to the home page, click generate video again. Now upload a short clip of a car driving down a road at night. I asked Runway's chat mode to write the prompts for me. One was, change the season in the original video to winter. Snow and ice on the road. Another, change the car to an ice cube. Before we look at the results, a quick look at the interface. You can upload a reference image here or sketch one manually. You can copy or delete prompts. This takes you to the help center. Here's the section on references again. The aspect ratio always follows the source video. You can open the settings menu here and hit reset all settings if needed. Aleph runs on the Gen 4 model. And yes, it only works with five second clips. Once that's all set, hit generate. Now to the result, bottom left, the original mid journey video. Top left, the winter version with snow. Top right, the car replaced by an ice cube. Both results are actually quite solid. Which brings up the question, couldn't I just do this with another AI video tool that says, make it look like this? In the end, that's what Aleph's trying to do. One-to-one -one replications of the same sequence in a different look. One quick runway tip at this point. Once you've created a video, there are several follow-up options directly below it. You can click Edit with a left to continue working on the video, or click Use Frame, Input for Video, to select a still frame as the starting point for a new video. Use Frame, User's Reference, opens the image generator, where that single frame becomes a visual reference for new images. Click the three dots and more tools appear. In short, Edit Video, lets you rework the current video with Aleph. Act 2 lets you generate a sequence based on the clip. Retime video allows you to change both the timing and the crop. Expand video adjusts the aspect ratio, which can be useful when switching between desktop and mobile formats. Lip sync is what it sounds like. You can upload an audio file and make the person in the video speak. Use current frame works like use frame slash input for video. It grabs a still image for new generation and upscale to 4K that just boosts the resolution. Runway Aleph works best when your prompt is clear and specific. If you're planning to use it, I strongly recommend getting familiar with the basics first and starting with a few of Runway's sample prompts. There are two helpful sources for that. First, the news section. You'll find it on the main Runway homepage. It walks you through different use cases you can explore and test directly. Second, the help desk. You can access it right from within the video editor. This one focuses more on the technical side, how things work behind the scenes. If you want to dive deeper, both links are listed in the description below. So here's my conclusion. To borrow a line from Emperor Augustus, quinti livare lecciones rete. Or in today's terms, Runway, Runway, give me my credits back. Kidding aside. Runway Aleph is an interesting tool. It adds a new twist to the video workflow. I just haven't found the everyday use case for it yet. Imagine you've got a video sequence you like, but the tool that's supposed to modify it needs 10 tries and still doesn't deliver something usable. That's where it gets frustrating. So here's a thought. Take a screenshot of the original video. Ask ChatGPT to describe the scene. Use that description to create a new image, for example in Midjourney, Ideogram, Flux or similar. Then ask ChatGPT to write a master prompt for a video. I've covered that in another tutorial, by the way. Links in the description. Take that prompt and run it through the AI video platform of your choice. Done. Yes, that will still take a few iterations but the results tend to be sharper, cleaner, more consistent. With a left, aside from the five second limit, I kept running into issues. Faces and hands would morph. Details got blurred. Prompts and source material sometimes got mixed up in odd ways. In short, there are still a few challenges to solve. What worked best were simple concepts and green screen editing, which is actually really solid. So I'll keep using Runway partly because of some of its other features, and I'm genuinely curious to see where the platform goes next. That's it for this tutorial. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.